Harmonix Combo Stories. Whatever happened to that General Van Dorn dude? Didn't Ruiz almost die saving his ass? I guess we're gonna find out, cause that's XCOM, baby! Hey, hey, what the hell? You can't be in here. Oh, I thought this was a situation room where senior leadership meet to decide tactics and strategy. It is, but you're not- Ah, there. you must be the leader of this here outfit. I be General Peter Van Dorn, United Nations Peacekeeping Forces. <laughs> I know who you are, I just didn't realize you'd be a 17th century pirate. Well, then I'm sure it's just an oversight that I haven't been invited to participate here in this situation room. Uh, no. Not an oversight, Van Dorn. A general Van Dorn, please. Mm. Mm -mm. No, you're not a general here, Van Dorn. Says who, you salty dog? Says me. And who are you, Rapscallion? I can't even see your face. I'm the commander. Oh, you're the commander. That's right. Ah, uh, the commander. Now, where does that put you in the chain of command? Last time I checked, well below that of a general, I'd say. Just enough authority to be what, second in command on a submarine? Mm. Something like that. I imagine you're stomping around here like Gene Hackman on the Crimson Tide. Ugh, now you're just flattering me. Probably torturing your XO with unnecessary weapons drills after a fire breaks out in the galley. Honestly, you're not far off right now. I bet you got the whole Lippin's Honor Stallion thing memorized. Just waiting for the right time to unleash you it. Just stick a cattle prod up their ass and you can get a horse to deal cards. <laughs> just a simple matter of voltage, eh? Indeed, Van Dorn. But look, if we're quoting Crimson Tide, I think another scene works better for this particular conversation. Oh, is that right? We're all very aware of what our orders are and what those orders mean. They come down from our council chiefs. They contain no ambiguity. Mr. Van Dorn, I've made a decision. I'm the commander of XCOM. Now shut the frack up! <gasps> oh dear. Good. Now that I have your attention. This is not the United Nations. This is XCOM. Soldiers come from all over with different ranks and backgrounds. None of that matters once you're underground. So what are you saying, lad? I'm suddenly not a general. Van Dorn, we both know that a UN general is like the equivalent of an XCOM private. My Davy Jones locker, you didn't just say that. If rank is so important to you, you can just go back to the UN. Keep playing dress up in your little blue hat and riding around in your little white Humvee. Oh, go for well, it. Maybe I will. Mm, well, choice is yours, Van Dorn, but a few things to consider before you make your big decision. First, we've got intel that suggests that the alien attack on your convoy wasn't a coincidence. Uh, whatever could that mean? It means someone tipped the aliens to your conference in Mexico. An insider. Someone human. Sweet mother of pearl! No way! Think about it, Van Dorn. UN headquarters is a hard target. The aliens aren't going to hit that anytime soon. But an off-site conference in Mexico with key personnel from around the globe? They could cut off the head right from the start, reduce our ability to fight back. That's quite a jump to pin it on some traitor collaborator from our own species. Van Dorn, you think too highly of humanity. Trust me, there are gonna be some idiots out there that are gonna welcome our new alien overlords with open arms. Nay, I don't want to believe it. To leave what you want, Van Dorn, but you're gonna see. Well, you're giving an old sea dog a case of the doldrums there, Commander. Uh, you want a really depressing reason to stick around? How's this? Even if there isn't an insider waiting to kill you back at the UN. Your reputation shot back there. Ah, that can't be true. Well, it is true. The whole world's seen the footage of you hiding behind an SUV, crying out like a frightened goat they tried to feed to that T-Rex before everything went tits up at Jurassic Park. Ah, but everyone could see I was signaling. Look, I'm not trying to insult you, Van Dorn. But I was just trying- It is trying what it is. You were goat boy and you know it. No, I was just coordinating. <laughs> hey, now what sounds are you making there, Commander? Yeah, that's goat boy. Look, I was just trying to coordinate- <laughs> Arr, that's the sound of a sheep, you buffoon. No. Now look. You're right. I was coordinating the response of their survivors. <laughs> well, which is it? Goat, a sheep, or a friggin' cow? I can tell you what it's not. Oh, what's that? A uh, general. It's not a general. Arr. Look, all joking aside, I can't bring the scared UN guy into XCOM and make him a general. First of all, we don't even have that rank, and second of all, they wouldn't respect you. Okay, well, how about Colonel? <laughs> no. Captain? Uh-uh. No. Non-commissioned. You can't be serious! Well, you've been peacekeeping for 20 years, Van Dorn. Hell, you haven't even been doing the actual keeping of the peace. You've been managing the peacekeepers. When's the last time you actually fired a gun? 
Uh, fair point. It's been a while. Well, that's the sales pitch, Van Dorn. Someone betrayed you back at the UN. You go back, you're probably going to be dead within a month. You can stay here, and we'll knock the rust off you. We'll get you back in fighting shape and turn you into something both aliens and their little collaborators are going to fear. Uh, it's a good pitch, lad. Hell yeah, it is. And it comes with a one-time demotion, which is really a promotion from a general at the UN to a private at XCOM. You make it Master Sergeant and you got yourself a deal. Specialist. Oh, come on now, Commander. A man's got his pride. Sergeant. Lance Corporal. Infantry. Oh. That's the highest rank we got around here for the time being. Now you can take it or leave it, goat boy. What's it gonna be? Uh, I'll take it. But my nickname is still the General. Yeah, all right. Sure thing, goat boy. No, please. Seriously. <laughs> on the next episode of XCOM story of... Bradford helps Van Dorn accept his new nickname. Goat Boy? Huh. I mean, it's better than what he usually calls me. Ah, uh, he might as well have labeled me a Jonah and tossed me overboard. Wait, I got it. Goat. I... The Goat. The greatest of all time. You're the Goat. Hmm. Greatest of all time, you say? Now that I can work with your wee press. Hey. Corbot might have a new best friend in the barracks. Excuse me, sir. Remove your hat, Corbot. We're whalers here. May I speak with you, sir? Yes, yes. Mr. Gromit says I'm not in the boarding party, and I want to say... I know what you want to say, and my answer is no. You'll lead your gun crew, and then when we board... You take command of the ship from the quarter deck. Do I make myself clear? Take command of the ship? Thank you, sir. Huzzah for General Van Dorn! <laughs>